right, Coach May, coach of the linebackers, coming in your second season. Yep. Um, let's talk about some of your returners first uh, at the linebacking crew. Yeah, you know, I got a great group. You know, a lot of returners coming back. Uh, Trevor Moses, he came back from injury last year. He's healthy, but leadership-wise, he's doing a great job. Uh, Zamarcus Green is doing a great job leadership-wise, off the field, on the field. And, and Peyton Tilly is another veteran guy. All three of those guys got a lot of uh, playing time for us last year. Uh, but more important than ability, they're doing a great job helping the young guys get along and, and meet the standard of what we, what we need to be successful in our defense. Now, what do you have to say about your depth at linebacker? I know you threw out a couple names just then, but uh, you also had a linebacker in Spurlock who was really, really good for you guys last year. How do you feel about your depth and um, how much you have back there for the, your uh, position? Yo, you know, depth this year from last year, it, it's, it's above and beyond last year. You know, last year we had to play some guys that – uh, there was a drop off between our ones and our twos, or we had to play our ones a little longer because they were, you know, they'd be tired. But the drop off was significant. So this year we have a lot of depth, which puts pressures on our on guys like Spurlock. It, you know, if they, they have a mental uh, buzz or something, next guy in and, and they understand. So it pushes them to be a little bit better. Uh, but across the board with, with Spurlock, Spurlock and uh, B Rob, Brady Robinson, we got good depth in our kind of inside linebacker spot. And then with Trevor and Z, uh, Zamarcus Green and Tilly, kind of in the back end all competing for a spot. It makes my job tough to decide who to play, but it's a good problem to have because the drop-off is, isn't significant. we got a good group. So what are you building on as far as your linebackers in specific? What are you guys, um, what's your outlook for them? What you are looking to accomplish? What are you rallying those troops behind at that position? Well, my group has done a great job buying into what we believe in as a defense, and, and that's no loafs. What we mean by that is you're running every football, you're fighting to be full speed, you're executing your job and not trying to play outside of the defense. Uh, our guys understand that you make plays through our scheme. If you play outside of the scheme, bad things happen. So our guys, my guys, really embrace that, and they hold the other guys accountable. Uh, they know they're not going to be the ones to cause us to, to give up a big play or to have bad effort and that kind of stuff. And uh, my challenge to them is to get that across to the rest of the team and make sure they hold everybody else accountable so we all get on the same page and, and avoid things that we had to go through last year at times. So um, what do you expect overall for the entire 2016 season? Well, defensively speaking, um, if we believe in our scheme, which we have shown so far, and we execute our job, we could be pretty special on defense. Uh, you know, we have some redemption from last year, uh, playing outside of the scheme a little bit, and guys kind of freelancing, and, and just understanding one more year in the system, understanding how important it is that our guys accomplish their job. We, we have a chance to be pretty dangerous on defense, and we got to improve on base down, so we get into third and long, and, and you know we led the conference in sacks last year, but uh, we weren't very good on those base downs. So if we get into third and long, we, we're pretty confident in our defense. And offense, I mean, we got so much talent on that side of the ball, and they understand the schemes that much better. And there's a good, great competition. So in terms of wins and losses, I couldn't tell you, but I know we're gonna be much improved, uh, and, we'll, and we'll fight to compete in every game. Last question for you. Seeing a lot around the campus, ten units strong. You want to touch a little bit on you know what does that mean with the team? Uh, is believing in concerning that statement. Yeah, so, so 10 units strong is that if you break down each position group for us, you know, quarterbacks is one, running backs and so forth, we have 10 units. Um, so each unit contributes to those wins and losses, contributes to the success of our team. So each unit has to do their part. You know, it's not just the receivers are, extra, are really talented, so they're going to hold the team on their back. You know, each unit needs to contribute, and we got to work together. So all 10 units contribute to the outcome of the game. So our guys really buy into that and understand each position group is significant and each position group needs to hold their own and not be the weak link in our, in our chain this year.